Hi guys, welcome back to another unboxing video. So today we are getting Xielian Ring Doll. I ordered this off of Legend Doll. So this is my first order from them ever. And here is what the package looks like on the inside. We have this little plastic wrap, which I'm going to cut open and take it out of the box. And I want to say the way they package these into the box, it fits perfectly. So it is a little bit hard to get out of the box. And here we are with the box on my table. So I will now be cutting off the rest of this plastic and hopefully not injure the inside content. And it feels like I'm doing open surgery on the table. So in terms of the shipping time, they said that it would take them about two weeks to ship off a doll that's in stock and I think for me it took like more like two weeks and a half to three weeks before they actually shipped it off and now it's here so right here on the side you see there's like a little sticker that says legend doll so they are a legit company they are based in Hong Kong I believe Woo! look at that Woo! oh my gosh oh my gosh this is what the box looks like so up here we have the logo for Ring Doll, and here is the word for Heaven Official's Blessing. Uh, I think this is his name right here, Xilian. I don't really know Chinese, but I think I've seen those characters before. Oh my gosh, so the outer cover is white and it has this little gold decor on it. <laughs> Down here we have the Billy Billy trademark. And here it is what it looks like with the cover off i'm going to take off this part right here and wow holy crap <laughs> oh that's so cool okay so the inside content again not going to go over this in detail but here i have a wig which i think this is the one i'll be using it looks like it's for his hair he got packages like this that has all the clothes inside i see the blue tassel already Ooh, whatever this is. Actually, I'm curious about what this is. It has a little thank you sticker on it. Let's open it and find out. Holy crap, look at this. Whoa, it's like a backdrop. Holy crap. Look at that. It's basically like a backdrop of the lantern and the water and you have like the butterflies right here. And here on this side is like the night sky. That is so cool. I did not know it comes with a backdrop. Now getting back to this, we have his bamboo hat that comes with the white little silky thing that flows down. That is really neat. That's so cool. I love the details. It's like a miniature version of those uh, Asian hats <laughs> that people wear out in the rice fields, I guess. I know my grandma used to have these hats and she would wear them in the garden or whatever. Here we have something for the shoes, I think. And it's really cool to see the way they package these things. This one has like coverage. It has paper all over it. it feels like it's Christmas right now. And that makes sense. The shoes are completely white. It looks really shiny as if it's like satin or something for the material. Also has a zipper on the back side, which you can pull down to put his feet in easily. And it has like a, some sort of factory smell when you open up the tissue paper as well. <laughs> and that's really pretty. The bottom of the shoes are foam. It feels very soft and smooth like pretty much foam <laughs> that's glued to the base. Really neat. Next up, they package this Xielian, it looks like poster, and they have some probably little cards inside, which I'll show a beef roll footage right here of what I got. Probably stickers in there, I'm not sure. <laughs> they provide the little ring dog card along with other papers. And yes, definitely stickers. And of course, postcards of the photography photos that they shot of Xielian with his bamboo hat and a nice pink sakura flowers in the background with some other white flowers and just different poses of him. There's some pictures of him inside a dark room and holding a cane and up close shots and just a lot of nice photos that they gave to us, which is really cool. Really nice stuff for collectors and those who are a fan of Xielian. So I'm really happy about like the extra bonuses they give us. It's really sweet.
So up next, I have this little purple pouch right here, which again, I'm not really sure what it is, but I see some eyeballs in there and some other little plastic thingies. It looks like there are some eyelashes in there as well. <laughs> Stuff I probably won't touch as long as his makeup is already done. Oh my gosh, okay, remember what happened last time with Wei Wuxi and I had to censor this part. But look! <laughs> he has some coverage! He has panties! <laughs> Thank goodness! <laughs> Although it's kind of transparent, but you can't see as much with a bubble wrap. Oh gosh, it's not fun censoring things. And I am not sure what this paper is for, but I don't really feel like taking it out because I think I'm going to ruin it. And now for the fun part that I've been really looking forward to. And let me see if I can just like pull him up. And I guess because he has this bubble wrap right here, I'm gonna have to cut this open. And hopefully I don't cut the doll with my X-Acto knife, that would suck. To be honest, I don't trust myself with my X-Acto knife, so I'm gonna have to go back and cut this with a regular scissor. Thank goodness! No need for the sensors, right? <laughs> oh, look at his arms! <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at this! <laughs> Oh my god, but look at this mold. It looks like a friggin' alien head. <laughs> With the way the mold is shaped. That is so crazy. I'm gonna make sure to keep this. That way, whenever I do move, it's gonna be really useful to cover his face again. Pretty much, I'm gonna keep most things that come along with his doll set. Like the box. I'll throw away all the bubble wrap, though. And here's what he looks like. Look at that face! Ah! So cool! So sweet! And I believe the inside of the head also opens. I didn't do that last time with Wei Wei Shin because like, I don't want to risk anything. Oh, but look, it's super easy! It has the Ring Doll logo on the inside and it's attached by a magnet. Oh, holy crap, he has really blue eyes. I did not know that. <laughs> I don't really pay attention to it, but that's really nice. And the makeup detail looks really nice too. He got the blushies on his cheeks and the nice red lips with some red lines on there for the details of the lips and some eyelashes. They're kind of dusty though. So for the inside of the head, you have the eyeballs that are attached on with the little, it's almost like a sticky tack blue putty. And there's this little ring thing right here, which you pulled up, I guess. But yeah, that's really interesting. That is the internal part of the brain <laughs> attaching it on. Has a nice simple click, really cool. The head rotates pretty much all the way around, I think and as well as 360. So if he wanted to look and see who's behind him, he can do that. Super impressive. Okay, so here we have it so far. Xie Lian, the crown prince of Xianle, all completely dressed up. So this is how I complete it off with his hair. I gotta say the wig is a little bit easier this time compared to Wei Wuxian's. The hair, you know, there's still like a lot of flying hairs, which I won't even be daring to touch because I Absolutely do not want to mess up this wig. It's the only one that I got. But so far, I think it holds out the nice general shape of what his hair is supposed to look like. Very great on that part. I'm kind of confused about his eyes. I do not remember if they were blue or not, or if it was just like regular brown color. But since he has blue eyes, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not going to switch out the eye colors. And he also has like the ribbon around the bun right there. He has a couple of strands on the front side which I think makes it look really nice. We also got this ribbon that wraps around his neck for the little detail. And yeah, the wig overall wasn't so bad to put on as I thought it would be. Really cool so far. So there is the front view. He's sitting down right now so everything's all wrinkly. <laughs> and surprisingly, the clothing wasn't as wrinkled as it was for Wei Wuxian's clothes when it came packaged. This clothes was actually packaged really nicely and the amount of wrinkles that were on here was like pretty minimal. It's actually not as bad as Wei Wuxian's clothing. But now that he's wearing it and sitting down, he's going to wrinkle it anyway. So it honestly doesn't matter. And I gotta say the layers of the clothing was a little bit confusing to put on, trying to figure out which layer goes first since there's no English on the instructions. So I had to like figure out how to put on the clothes. Um, I tried to <laughs> put on the outer layer at first and I realized it was wrong so I had to take that back out and switch it out to the other white layer. Like pretty much all of his clothes is like white. Like everything he wears is white which looks really nice, you know? Suits the crown prince himself. And overall it wasn't really too bad dressing him up. This is my second time trying to dress up a doll 
and I think it's getting easier. I'm starting to get the hang of it, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Thank goodness for the panties. I'm really happy about that. I don't know why. It's such a nice bonus extra, I guess. I gotta say, his face, though, looks really pink in certain areas. He has, like, really, really pink cheeks, and, like, even part of his eyebrows is kind of pink as well. I'm not sure what is up with that, but that's how they did the makeup. Let's move him on to the back side. Right here you can see his hair and that's how they did the ribbon. I did not do that. It's actually glued onto the back of the bun and that's what it looks like. Long ass strand right here. Really nice long hair. So pretty. Absolutely stunning. I love it. But look at that. The way it just like holds its shape. I was tugging onto this pretty hard too when I was trying to put on the wig but luckily it didn't fall off. <laughs> I'm really kind of worried about that the way these hairs are shaped and stuff. Oh gosh. Trying to fix this looks way too complicated the other side is the same thing has a little hoop shape right there look at his shoes on his boots all nice and white so lovely absolutely stunning we're gonna go ahead and bring him onto my bookcase and display him so here's shillian holding shillian and i just took a picture of my thumbnail and here's the overall look of him just sitting on his shelf not the final way i'm going to pose him he's gonna be standing up and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him with his hat on either because I kind of do prefer it off. So that way when Hua Chung comes, he doesn't have his hat getting in the way, but we'll see. And I'm, <laughs> again, his eyes are blue. And I just remembered, I believe he has like more golden eyes or even hazel eyes, which is why my dolls have those type of eye colors according to the drawing references. So yeah, I'm not sure why they give him blue eyes, but I think they did give a pack of hazel or yellow eyes. But yeah, I'm not going to go and change it now. <laughs> It's fine the way it is though. Pretty cool. Love that. He's holding his doll. And there we go. We have Wei Bushin over here. Gonna go ahead and set him up for the final time. Ta-da! So here is the final look. Maybe not as pretty as the stock images, but I really like the way he looks. Nonetheless, looks really nice. I actually decided to put his hat on because I honestly didn't know what other pose to give him. And the way they did it in the photo looks really cool, so I tried to copy it. <laughs> and I'm really happy with it so far. Love the outfit, love the way the doll looks. The face, the hair, looks really stunning. He's really white and... <laughs> His outfit is really white and he's super pale. And so we have these two side by side so far, and both of them are waiting for their tops. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing hit like down below and subscribe if you haven't already as i'll be posting more unboxing videos in the future i'll be back with the next video bye